My name is Martin Bies. I work uh, in uh, PIAP, and I would like to, to tell you about uh, the EOD robots and how we use Linux, and uh, mostly what are the greatest challenges and what are the greatest problems uh, in it. So the EOD robot is the explosive ordinance uh, device, which means uh, it's used for integra it's, 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 it's an integrated mobile uh, system for counterterrorism and uh, uh, rescue operations. So the main idea to create such a robot is to keep a human away from threats. Usually this means some kind of uh, explosive ordinance, unknown package, and so on, but not only. Uh, there are also some solutions for firefighter, fire, firefighters, and uh, hopefully uh, they are used uh, more frequently than the, the previous ones. Uh, oops, double the slides. Uh, so about my employer, uh, PIAP, so uh, Przemysłowy Institut Automatyki i Pomiarów and Industrial Research Institute for Automation is a part of Łukasiewicz Research Network, which uh, is like grouping Polish institutes. I think it's the third uh, biggest uh, network uh, in, the, in the Europe after Fraunhofer and, and, and Finnish um, institutes. And uh, I, I work there and I, well, I built the robots, uh, especially the BSP part uh, of, the, of the Linux systems, which includes also working with hardware engineers and uh, uh, programming from device drivers to uh, user space applications, actually. Uh, so we try to uh, unleash the full performance of the, of, uh, out of the hardware, and we have some, uh, well, to, to face some, some issues that, uh, that, 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 that are there and squeeze bugs, which usually are not, uh, are not easy. So as a history, uh, the history of robotics, so EOD robotics in Poland started in 1999, when someone in the PIAP Institute, established in 1965, decided that uh, let's build uh, EOD robots. So this is how it looks on, on the folder, and uh, in reality it's a bit, big, clumsy, uh, drives uh, about uh, one kilometer per hour and is uh, very likely to actually destroy the wall because the operator just gets accelerating and does some, any, anything else because it's, it's such slow. Uh, but it worked. Yeah, it's, uh, it, 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 it was tested, it was, it was acquired, and uh, uh, this, because it's, it's 1999, so this is the analogous robot. The, the control loop is, is, is fully analog. There's uh, uh, industrial TV and, and uh, yeah, the remote cooperation console is uh, like this desk, but with additional screen and, and uh, very poor resolution. Um, so, uh, yeah, how it is built. So, so first in the 90s, uh, we took a, a, a plane, a car and a bus, a, a box, and the box was fitted. Yes, the idea was to... Uh, to, to, to send hardware engineers, mechanical engineers, to, to check if the robot will fit into Boeing 737 from the 90s or early, early, uh, early 2000s. Uh, and after a year, uh, they developed uh, a, a quite, uh, quite visible solution, which is basically, I can, I can yeah, spot it from time to time because it's, it's getting back to us for some repairments, for some, uh, some refurbish. It's still used. It's slow, clumsy, but uh, a bit agile. Uh, around uh, 2010, uh, robots went digital. So uh, we have software engineering problems, not only hardware engineering and electronical integration of analog TV or, or control circuits. Now it's, it's mostly software. So uh, there are similar, well, there, there, are, there are multiple problems. It's, it's not a programming problem, actually. It's a robotics problem rather than this. Like the robot is a mechatronics device and sometimes um, we have, we have, we have problems that Linux is on the single brick in the wall uh, because robots are Linux based. Um, so uh, usually uh, the, the software problems are not simple. Uh, so from, from the ground up, um, the devices are mechanical and they have to be resistant and resilient. They have to, uh, they are harassed, they are blown up, uh, they, they go into, into some dirty conditions. 
uh, they need to have sufficient power and torque, and yet do, they, they do have to uh, save battery. So uh, uh, we put a software like at, at, at almost every component. Like the, the modern robot has uh, embedded systems in the motor controllers, in video cameras, which are usually at least free for, for a device. Uh, usually there's a radio communication device, which heavily depends on the, the frequency that is required and uh, uh, capabilities or color range that are, that are needed. So usually mesh network uh, communication devices are also, also Linux based. Um, and we have uh, low latency, safety critical, and also uh, things like user experience are, um, are important. So yeah, first of all, uh, after the robot is built, it's freezed in a freezer minus 30, that's, that's, that's what's said on the, on the components. Usually it survives. Uh, then we have to drown it. Yeah, uh, then we have to uh, shake it and heat it. And uh, then to exercise it, how fast it is and uh, how agile it is. Usually it works. Yeah, you can see that's from real tests. Uh, there was, uh, I was missing a photo uh, from drowning, so we took a robot uh, for, a, for, for, for a trip to the, to, to, to the seaside to drown it in salt water. Still works. Um, and uh, that's, the, that's the whole solution. Like the, the Linux is only a only, only single part in it, uh, which has to, has to work also through, throughout these tests. Yeah, sometimes there are some different problems uh, or, or, or funny problems uh, in case of radio communication screens or just uh, processors if you freeze them to the minus 30. Some, some, some strange things happen. Uh, EOD robots versus industrial robots that uh, usually like, everybody's familiar with because uh, yeah, industrial robots are working in, in factories or uh, recently I can see them at train stations making coffee. Mm, as, as, as a coffee machines. So our robots have to be agile rather than fast. They're usually not programmed to uh, do one thing for, yeah, continuously, but they are teleoperated, or usually there, there is a human in the, room, in the loop, because uh, sometimes customers want to uh, put some kind of explosive device on the robot, or a, or a shotgun, for example, which is used by police to open doors. Uh, the shotgun on the robot is the, is the safest solution. Uh, yet sometimes uh, yet the business people want us to, 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 to construct a robot that is uh, quick and precise. Like yeah, this one has the anti-tank mine. Uh, so agility, it can, uh, it, can, it, can, it can hang on its manipulator like a monkey. It can uh, uh, get on desk, it can open door. Yeah, American uh, clutches are also, also included. Uh, it can open bottle. Non-alcoholic beverage, by the way. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, so that's that's our hardware. Yeah, that's 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 one part of our 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 problem. Uh, and uh, the next thing is to to what what about the software? So, first of all, this is a safety critical system, or actually a part of it, because Linux uh, is uh, not uh, safety critical. It it, it 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 can be. There's there are ongoing initiatives to 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 make one, but it's it's still not. So uh, the core components has to, has to respond in a, in a way. So for example, this photo is, is a robot at the uh, power station and like uh, short circuiting this, uh, especially uh, this, this rack would uh, like uh, turn off the power for the half of the city, like the, the two million city. So it has to be safety critical. It has to, it has to behave in a, in, in, in a, in a standard way. Uh, sometimes there are some things like, okay, the transistor can burn out in a way that it uh, conducts power. So uh, you, you, you may not rely uh, in your software that something that you turn off will be turned off, for example. Yeah, everything uh, can happen. Usually for the bigger devices, there's an emergency stop button, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Like we have... Uh, this robot, this was uh, uh, created for some uh, project with the uh, European Space Agency, so that's, that's why the color. And uh, it has the emergency stop button, and my, my colleague pressed it, pressed it with his butt while riding this robot. I cannot put a photo 
in the presentation, of course. Uh, and uh, during the robot was uh, was driving at like 10 kilometers an hour, and uh, it, it blown up all the uh, all, all, all the all the controllers because apparently everybody tested the emergency stop where the where the device was running, but but stopped. But yeah, what, what happens if you if you stop it at full power? It's like yeah, putting your brake in your in your car at full speed. Uh, so uh, this is this is on the this, this is usually done using microcontrollers. So the safety cl critical function has to be kept uh, safe by providing all the uh, software engineering, uh, ISO standards, and so on for the microcontrollers guy. And we usually try to offload all the preempt all the real time tasks to microcontrollers. Uh, it leads to the problem that will be described later that, um, okay, we have to update the microcontrollers somehow. Uh, we also make use of preempt uh, It uh, used to be an issue like 10 years ago because of all the patches and so on, and it's, it's good to see the preempt being uh, included in a, in a Linux kernel, actually, uh, more and more. So it will be a matter of turning it, uh, it on in the config uh, in a not, not near future. Uh, okay, so that, that's the BSP, so board support package, and that's the part that I'm responsible mainly for. Uh, so uh, we would like to, to provide and sustain a build system for the programmers. The team is something about 30 people right now, not all are programmers, some are electronics mechanics uh, engineers. And uh, Usually, if you have a car or some kind of machine system, some industry system, you develop it, then test it, then deploy it, and then it, it works for 10, 15 years. In our case, usually the idea is the same. We have to maintain the system for two multiple years, at least 10, but contrary to the car, which is usually mass product and you can secure all the components, we face with the problem that we sell about uh, 100 robots yearly, so uh, we need to, well, well no, nobody will, uh, will provide us some microcontroller in, or, 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 or some uh, yeah, Linux model we use for in, in 10 years. It will be far deprecated and the, the level of production and uh, cost is not uh, balanced so much, so, so we, we cannot uh, uh, have uh, everything stacked uh, together. So, uh, the idea is to, to, to have it something somewhere in between, so we have to maintain the system, the BSP and the software, to make it use the hardware that we are facing, facing on. So sometimes uh, robots are upgraded after five years uh, with newer uh, adapters and so on, like network files, for example, uh, used to change rapidly after the pandemics in, in, in few years, like a lot of modules were just issues that, that there's a change because there, there's a limit uh, of, 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 of chips. Uh, so we tried different solutions. So, so the ongoing project is something like from 2013. Uh, I worked there full time, full time since, since 2019. And we tried using Ubuntu as a base system. Uh, it was quite good, it was quite easy. Yeah, you have compiler on the, on the device, uh, just run it, uh, yeah, make it happen. Then we use the build route. It is uh, very simple. I very much like it. But we settled to Yocta project. And it was done five years ago. So uh, build route, both embedded Ubuntu, embedded build route, and Yocta project changed, changed a lot since uh, five years. Uh, so the goal is we have different architectures ARM, ARM64, uh, yeah, PC, the, the embedded PC, of course. Um, the BSP, the, the, the Linux distribution created from Yocta internal is um, the system for robots, consoles, repeaters, and so on. It needs to integrate many meta layers. Some are exotics. Uh, that's like I feel like uh, the, the sole contributor to, to, to some of the projects. And as you can see, uh, yeah, this is a kind of embedded systems we we have. Uh, yeah, that's that's a robot console. We have cameras which are running uh, Linux and the same distribution. There is a main robot main board which is running the, 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 the distribution and so on. There are different types of cameras, different features, uh, including 3D graphics, 
video acceleration and uh, most important for us is the low latency like from what robot can see to what operators uh, see on display there must be no more than 150 milliseconds and uh, yeah this is this is uh, like the hard 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 real time boundary um, for this uh, the idea is to to keep uh, keep it modular we use different meta layers and uh, we of course use our proprietary soft software and uh, we keep it on a different meta layer so uh, the open source part is built uh, uh, independently uh, we try to maintain as little variance as possible this means updating so lts uh, long time support versions are are great because i have to update it uh, every every about four years and sometimes unfortunately i have to roll back like, uh, for example, this console was equipped with uh, a spe specific radio and it, it seems that this radio doesn't, uh, does, doesn't work well with newer kernels. So, yeah, we have to, we have to downgrade the whole, uh, the whole distribution. Uh, it, it, it was easily done using uh, Yocto project and just keeping, uh, keeping things in a, in a control uh, system, uh, version control system. Uh, so we have to update periodically. It's not uh, work. Yeah, test and deploy, but uh, it's like ongoing, more agile uh, solution. Uh, we, because uh, sometimes the systems are connected to internet, to remotely operate them or uh, to perform a system update, uh, we are yet using the CVH check, which is, which is built in Yocto. That's a good, good idea to, to use it. Uh, and uh, we keep track of uh, changes in the upstream. So we do not use continuous updates, it's not rolling distribution, but we try to update it uh, every, every quarter, uh, for example. Uh, so the, 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 the nice relief is having the uh, continuous integration system. Um, there's a problem in, in continuous integration because uh, yeah, building all the distributions with all the, all the stuff uh, takes like terabytes of, of, of disk space. Uh, if, if I'm using cache, it sometimes corrupts. So uh, then we have we have corrupted build, and we we, we moreover have have build that is not working if, if we build from from from, from scratch. Mm, uh, so uh, that's that, that's that, that, that's a trade-off. Yes, usually I try to uh, have different CI jobs for BSP builds, which are rare and take a lot of place uh, space and take a lot of uh, time, and uh, applications built which are frequently updated, like a few, 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 thousand, few, few dozen times a day, uh, usually. Uh, we, use of, uh, we use GitLab uh, and uh, BuildBoot for uh, uh, CI, uh, continuous, uh, continuous building uh, solutions. Uh, of course, everything has to be kept in-house because of the security reasons. Uh, yes, uh, software updates, the next uh, big topic. Uh, like the, I, I said, the robot is built uh, from multiple Linux boards, actually. There's main board, there are cameras, two in the robot base, another in, in robot manipulator, some attachable cameras. Uh, all of this has to be updated in a timely manner. And also, there are low-level microcontrollers that are also uh, providing the, the, the over-the-air update. Uh, so, uh, usually, uh, what, what, what comes from CI has to be deployed in this robot in a, in a least uh, yeah, working, producing uh, way. And another problem is that robots are actually sold worldwide. So, yeah, there are multiple countries and uh, yeah, we are based in Poland, Warsaw, so uh, internet link between Poland and, and, and Korea, for example, is like, like 100 kilobits if you, if you try, to, try to push something like uh, one gigabyte uh, bunch of updates, it's, 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 it's problematic. Yeah, we, we, we have to use uh, cloud, we have to use some, some special cloud providers to, to, to actually yeah, offload it to the geographically uh, near servers. Uh, so for uh, low levels, uh, we try to keep things modular. Yeah, not, to, not to introduce too much work, not to grasp too much uh, at, at all. So as, as a way of keeping modular, I build a SVU update solution, also checking RAUC, RAUC and, and Mender IO. 
uh, there's also good uh, good thing uh, good, 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 nice nice applications uh, and this uh, keeps updating Linux image bootloaders microcontrollers and everything locally and then on the another module we have we have this modular devices we have all all the upper layer for example Haugbit uh, which keeps track of the multiple robots uh, in the multiple parts of the day the, the big problem here is that uh, devices are not always online. They may be used in the, in the situation that they cannot be connected to online or the user doesn't want to, to reveal uh, the, the location in use. And uh, the second thing is like uh, the cloud costs is, uh, is a big factor. Yeah, we cannot uh, directly uh, yeah, download from Korea, in Korea from Poland, for example, we have to, we have to use some cloud. Um, so, so there are some different solutions to have uh, geographically spread servers or, or virtual network around the world, but uh, it's usually costly. Uh, by the way, that's, the, that's the, 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 the same problem that the modern car manufacturers face, but they have bigger budgets usually. Uh, so uh, that's like uh, one leg of our project. So it's, it's building and sustaining robots and BSP uh, for, a, for a sustainable, like 10 year plus uh, solutions. And another thing is to, you know, get money, get funding. We do research and development projects. So we integrate a lot of things. We uh, integrate some different, more or less exotic software, like X-Ray, which uh, very much likes to, to run on, in Windows only. Uh, maps, offline maps is a, is a, is a must have or some uh, academic projects uh, using, mostly using uh, robot operating systems or, or some, uh, mm, some parts of it. Uh, so yeah, robot is equipped with X-ray. I've got a quick shots of photo. Maps, global navigation solutions. Yeah, this one is, is actually the research platform as you, can, as you can see from the variety of things that is connected to it. Uh, there are some one-time research projects. Yeah, let's control a big robot using uh, using some more uh, platform that give you give you more, more feedback. Uh, we have some uh, AI solutions to detect the, the hot point or, or, or people or drones. Uh, yeah, we scale up, so we built a three and a half ton robot, uh, which is also running the same uh, Yocto-based system and 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 same solutions. And uh, yeah, research some yeah, early stage uh, self-driving uh, off-road, like the, the, the one is, is, is uh, driving uh, after another um, using, uh, uh, using an AI in this case. Uh, so uh, for Windows, uh, I use uh, QEMU uh, with uh, KVM. So it's, it's on PC based console, so it's quick. Uh, the emulation, the virtualization is, is quite, uh, quite quick. Um, the only problem is to actually display the, the screen because yeah, we, we have a different application suddenly, like the Windows application running in a window and our application running at full screen. So uh, yeah, there is a problem how to, how to effectively uh, switch this uh, for a kiosk-like uh, device, yeah, that not, giving, not giving user uh, the ability to, to close it suddenly and, and so on. And also we need to, for example, mm, debug it remotely. So I can, I can uh, run virtual machine using uh, VNC, but the VNC is very slow in, if, if, if the screen is, uh, has, a, has a big resolution. For other parts of the software, uh, I, I, I choose uh, to use containers because it's uh, like the, the one shot, I just create a container, install it, and uh, uh, then, then it runs. Then it's evaluated. If it's okay, we try to integrate all the dependencies uh, directly in the Yocta project, which usually uh, means uh, bigger work than just uh, having Ubuntu in, in container or Debian in container and installing this. Uh, yet Docker CE integrated with uh, uh, Yocto project is, 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 is uh, usually a good idea. Uh, yeah, so th that's a bunch of uh, one-time projects. The, the first one was for a movie. Uh, so uh, to the conclusion, it takes uh, a bunch of smart people, a lot of institu institutional knowledge uh, yeah, to, to, to build a, a successful U UGV. And we, we try hard not to walk in place, which sometimes, sometimes happens. Uh, 
uh, the idea is that uh, yeah, Linux is just a, just a part of such a device. And uh, there are also uh, microcontrollers, electronics, mechanics, and all the guys involved in testing, yeah, freezing, heating, uh, shaking uh, uh, these devices. So uh, yeah, to, to, to be, a, to be a successful, the, 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 the team is needed. Uh, and it works, and that's, that's what, uh, what, uh, what the robots, uh, uh, the newborn robot usually, usually see. Uh, okay, I, I kept in time, so uh, thank you. Sorry for this uh, inconvenience at the start, and any questions maybe? Uh, okay, so the question is that uh, robot is uh, a complicated device uh, built out of multiple uh, boards, and uh, the question was how, how do we test uh, CI? Uh, w w what comes from from the CI? So uh, we, we tried to uh, build uh, uh, some kind of test track to have uh, one console uh, booting over network, uh, uh, one board from robot, and try to automatically test it. Uh, it failed because of a variety of variants, variety of, of versions. So usually we do not have problem with uh, base system. We uh, usually have a problem with uh, system to radio, system to camera, system to device. So usually it's like an uh, yeah, interesting problem. So that's, uh, that's very hard to, 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 to do. Uh, then uh, usually we cannot afford to have like one robot of each kind uh, at, at the door because there is like the business team, the marketing team, they are taking robots, going to the trade fairs um, and so on. So uh, we built like the uh, socio-technical uh, solution. We have uh, the uh, task management system and uh, uh, we have testers like the manual testers and they do, they do uh, the most. And Contrary to what you have, if you like build a car, when you have all this, you have like like papers for each screw you use. Actually, in this case, um, this is the, the special uh, equipment, and this is uh, put together by the uh, how it's called the trained personnel. So the uh, um, the, the, the 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 paper, the, the the amount of paper you have to produce is is uh, reduced. So there is like the the, the manual test instruction for the for the serviceman who tests us and gives gives feedback yes Uh, so uh, yeah I, I use this uh, I use the feature of Yocto to download like everything download uh, do do, uh, do download on the on the world like it downloads everything. Uh, yet, uh, so, so it's, it's, it's fine to build uh, offline. I also automatically modify all the recipes that try to fetch the newest version. And uh, well, sometimes it, it, it works well. So I, I, I just have a bunch of, a bunch of disks and, and uh, network uh, uh, storage solution to, to, to keep all these uh, sources uh, together and uh, from time to time clean, clean the old version. So, for example, like that, there was the idea that, uh, like, suddenly all of the repositories changed. Many repositories changed the, the master branch to the main branch. So it, it give, gave us, uh, yeah, like a day or two of, of debugging this and, and, and fixing. Uh, so, so yeah, there's a bunch of bunch of self homemade scripts plus the, the features of Yocto to, to actually download everything. Uh, yes, please. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the question is, uh, if, I, if I have to support the uh, updates for 10 years, uh, what about the bootloader and incompatibilities? Um, so, yeah, the, the device that in, is, that's, that's in, the, in the wild, usually it's just updated, and we try not to update bootloader. 
uh, if it's not unnecessary. And uh, usually, uh, we use the, the bootloader that actually supports the older hardware. Because uh, yeah, we, have, we have some kind of module. Yeah, we, we do not, uh, for example, for, for the robots that are deployed in 2016, we used a, a ready-made uh, industrial modules for, for Linux, and they are still supported. Yeah, that's, the, that's, the, that's the idea that the chain of uh, supplies is, uh, is, is, is needed. But uh, yeah, I've got a, a server with uh, yeah, the, the cataloged uh, robots and uh, which version is, is, is where. So it's, 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 it, it was started uh, manually and then it's, uh, it's, it's, it's powered by CI. But yes, it's, it's uh, becoming a problem. Yes, that's what's questioned here. Uh, so uh, yeah, how many how many boards there are in, in so, so so how many versions of the kernel instances is running in, in a single robot, and uh, how hard is to to revamp the kernel version? Uh, so usually we have one for main board, one for each camera, and uh, one for communication device, and uh, we try to keep it on the same version, and uh, hopefully using the long time support version. So uh, like. Uh, yeah, the, the, the goal is to, to have like 515 for everything right now because it's still supported. And then we try to update it. And if uh, there is like some, some, some bigger updates, uh, we check. But uh, unfortunately, uh, for a PC, for example, I've got some demanding radio connected to my mini PCI. And after updating, it starts to hang like, suddenly. And because it's PCI, I cannot debug it low level. Uh, too well, so I have to revert to the kernel version. So, unfortunately, I have multiple kernel versions for multiple devices. Uh, fortunately, uh, solutions such as SW update uh, can handle this uh, using configuration, kernel versions, and system versions. And so, yes? Uh, yes, I, I tried it. So, so the question was, uh, if running in uh, the, the, the device as, as Windows, uh, could I try to just access the single um, window for the application or using the remote desktop? So, yeah, I'm using remote desktop, but uh, many applications that are, uh, I have to integrate uh, are not well with uh, accessing just a single uh, window. Uh, so that's the, that's, the, that's the application problem, and I, I do not want to debug uh, Windows applications or C sharp applications. So. Uh. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, so the question about connectivity and, and 5G. Uh, so, so yes, uh, we, we tried it and uh, usually there is too much latency for 5G or even Starlink communication, which is like the, the newest instance of 5G. Uh, we use uh, different networks, like some of them are based on a Wi-Fi hardware. Uh, with modified firmware or with just configuration like uh, things like the, the open source mesh solutions or, or something like this. Uh, and in, in some cases we use uh, some proprietary radios because the specific frequency is, is, is needed for, for a customer. So what is the goal latency in the end? Uh, excuse me? Uh, so, so the latency should be as, as low as possible and like from what robot C, the camera, to what operator C should be uh, no more than 150 milliseconds, which means that uh, uh, something like 70 is, is taken for the, for, the, for the video processing. So, so I need something like 70 up to 100 uh, milliseconds of latency, which is not uh, achievable by 5G. So there are also different modes of operation when you just send commands to the robot. 
and this can be can be done uh, with the we have more latency aware networks. Okay, so uh, I think this was the last question. We have to we have to we have to finish now. So uh, you can find me in a lobby in in case of any any further questions. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.